should catch a red ear out of this. You know how when the water's down, all the little, little green grass grows, probably four inches tall? They start fanning beds that floats to the top. That's not one of the biggest, is it, Jim? That's bait. That's just one that's practicing. One almost right here to, to the boat. I missed it. <laughs> Look at here, boy. Oh, that's right. what I'm talking about. The reddish iris. If you're wondering what Rick Hill's doing here today, He's the artist with the Department of Fish Biology. He's also a pretty good photographer. They're working on a story about red ear, and this just happens to be a red ear. A little higher? Yeah, right there. That's kind of interesting. I have to know my subject, but uh, it, it's nothing like getting out in the field and taking part. Well, they're a little, a little red ear. A little red ear. Uh huh. I have to partake and sample of all the fishing activities. It's pretty, but small. There's one. Ooh, that looks like it might be ready right there. That yeah, is. look at him. <laughs> Get him, Jim. Good, that's gracious. Oh, it's one. Oh, my. <laughs> Don't let him go. Look at that thing. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive. That is not right. That's bigger than that other one. Just using a little grub with legs on it and tipping it with one of some of that little what do they call it that, alive alive it just looks like a little grub you don't have to worry about it dying on you and it stays it holds up pretty good after being on these beds for a while they'll eat anything in sight it's a little better fish there you have to look at the fish that's oh close you have to get it feel for it, a taste That's for it, right. you got to smell it That's right. before you can get it all up here. It's and all in the details. Yeah. Being out here and enjoying this, doesn't that make you actually, do you take all this in? Doesn't it make you, when you're sitting down looking at it, do you get a, you think about when you're actually out catching them? Well, if you don't actually participate, have your hands, say if your fish is your subject, to see their habitat, you know, in this clear water, it's real easy to see actually they're around structure and on these gravel banks and you can often even see their nests and uh, that all goes into getting the feel for the fish. Now, and then of course, when you get them in your hand, you get a good photo of them. You can see the brilliant colors of when they're actually freshly caught to see their life colors. The, the size of these right here, it's, it's unbelievable. When did you start noticing these things coming on like this? I seen the first one in 86. 86. First, the first red ear I seen. And uh, since then, they've just started getting better. It feels like it might be a decent fish. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's big red ear, big red ear. Bigger than the last one. He's pulling drag. Oh, you got a net good. I'm going to bring him up. Golly. Now, look at that. Oh, my, Jim. Let me see that thing. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth on that. Look what a fish. So you say getting there. They get bigger than this? Oh yeah. When that thing hit it, it took off. I look, I was watching you catch one and it took off. Right. And then I, I thought, well, it's just a bluegill and I felt the weight of it. My goodness. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Jim, and you said that's not even a great, to me that's a huge fish, but to, to you it's not a great big fish because you see them down here all the time. It's a nice one. Uh, what's it weigh? Pound and a quarter? At least. It's pretty good size. I have personally not caught one two pound, but I've heard of folks catching them two pound. What do you think? Pound and three quarter. What do you think about this 15 fish now that they're protected? I, I tell you, I think it's going to be a huge fishery down here. It is. It's a, this is getting to be a big draw to the lake. You said you got a recipe for this. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I just scale them and cut their head off. Instead of frying it, I throw it on the grill. Put some a few minutes just, on each side? Yep. I don't put any foil under them, just 
or with open grill. Just pick it off the bone. Pick it off the bone. Let oh, them brown. That sounds good, man. Oh, they man. are really good. Well, that's probably what's going to happen to this kit right here. Golly, what a fish. Bigger than your hand. Way bigger yeah. than your hand. That fish is. That fish is close to 11 inches. Look at that. Hold on, we're gonna put one more in there. It's a good fish. Wow. Hope you don't come off. My net's way back there in the back of the boat. Got him. Unbelievable. Look at that. And that's not hand size, that's almost arm size. And that is some good eating. Now we, we could have caught our limit, as they say. But you know what? I think this is a precious resource. We got enough here to get a good dinner for a couple of us. These are fun fish. They are fun. And good to eat. Like I say, it's really worked out well. Jim's brought us to some really big right here. I mean, it's Man, nice to know, show man. some of what the state has to offer. And uh, hey, this is some of the best. I can't hold him anymore. I gotta put him down. He's wearing my arm out. Hold him up there, Jim. Show him one more time. Goodness gracious. That's two That's hand That's a two size hand fish. fish. <laughs> Come on down here and try this. I'm telling you what, it is a whole lot of fun. Again, these fish gotta eat every day. They're out here somewhere. They're out here somewhere and you can catch a good mess of bluegill along with them. <sighs> so, fun day, Jim. Thank you, buddy. You're more than welcome.